Oh, surprise! It's a new session! Not that much has changed, though. God damn, that bitch still gives me letter for free lives? Fine, I'll eat them. I don't have to like it, but I'll eat them. Bitch. Jesus Christ, Mario, calm down. And there are no comets in sight. As to be expected. Oh, whatever. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. The show's J406. Oh, yeah, we have that guy. Another hungry Luma, huh? I guess it's your turn to eat, you fat bastard. Anyway, our quest for all the Power Stars continues. I have almost all the star bits I need to uh, feed all these guys. Then again, there's only one more after this. So I fed all the others. So go off into space, you little bitch! Ow! Cool, the Sand Spiral Galaxy. Uh, doesn't sound very fun, but let's take a look. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. So the spiral sand is a lot of quicksand being awful. Choosing a favorite snack. Ooh. I wonder. Do so you go with the boo? Or the bee? Ah. I see then. Come, Mario. Pick your fruit. Yes. Can I choose neither? I don't think the game will let you do that. I want to pick neither. I want that flight power up. Yeah, I do too, but unfortunately we don't have an option. I'd recommend Boo because it's a lot easier. For me personally, because unless you get hit by the light or another Boo, well, you can fly forever. Unlike having B Mario, you have to either go for coins, go for all the poles or whatever. And either way, you have to avoid the water. See, because either of them can get affected by that. Why did you do Sorry. Okay, seriously, this asshole thinks he can kill me? He's got another thing coming. Yo, bitch! Back off! Alright, let's try that again. I love how they give you a lot of boo Marios as well, because it's more easily lost. Maybe you somehow lose it, but manage to survive either way. Then, uh, yeah. I guess they feel you deserve the, uh, deserve the benefit of the doubt in regards to, uh, living. At least I hit ceilings. Okay, there we go. I made it. But you can continue up there with B-Mar if you want. Not that it's helpful. So what's up here? It's right because of the moonlight! Cool. So, welcome to this little running section of hell. Be Rainbow Mario and fly your way over here or just, you know, make a couple risky jumps. Really? That's not even a sand spiral. This is a spiral of fucking whatever rocks are. They're rocks. I knew that. Sure you did. Well, we got 36 stars to go. And hopefully we can get there quick-ish. Aha, all the purple comets are around again. Hmm. Yeah, why don't we go after the other one here? I haven't done enough of the purple coin missions, and, uh, well... I guess I'd say if... Well, I'd rather not hold them all off till the end. So if I'm out in the open and one's available, I'll go out to it. But, you know... Okay, here come the beginning of some of the purple coin missions I dread. This isn't hard, but a tedious one. So we have to go to the Honey Hive's Purple Coins in Honey Hive Galaxy. This is one of those that sums up why I hate Purple Coin missions. See, so, yep, there are 100 Purple Coins lying around. Let's go find them. Where well, the first level made it a very straightforward path, this one decided to make you explore the entirety of this level to find them. So, yep. These are the missions that require you to know the levels inside and out, pretty much. So hopefully you know what you're doing in regards to uh, purple coin hunting. The good thing is none of them are out in the open. You just have to... Want, if you can see them, you can find them. But it requires you to go everywhere. And your platforming prowess is really going to be put to the test. I bet these coins can be traded in for anything. Then again, the damn comets are always jerks like that. 
Wait, why is that purple coin there? Ah. I was gonna say, I was wondering where the swing was. I didn't see it. I forgot, it's not up that high. Man, I'm dumb. Yes! Whoa! Ah, you got scared by a little boulder. Hey, you would be two of those running that fast. Maybe. Oh, yeah. And for the looks of it, they don't really give you B-Mario, so you have to, uh, find your own way. Although, there warp pipes for you, so you can always use those. So let's give this one a shot. See where it takes us. Why am I back here? Because apparently you wanted to be. I did not want to be back here! That is a lie! Like I said, they have you exploring everywhere. Ow! Eh, 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 eh. God! Honey baby, leave me alone! Oh, this level's so big! Like I said, again, the purple coins are the worst parts of Super Mario Galaxy. Well, yes, it's a nice opportunity to explore the levels. Especially the ones that aren't super linear. At the same time, ugh. Being forced to have to go around the entire level to hunt for coins. In regards to the 100 coin stuff in any of the Mar 3D Mario games up to this point, Galaxy so far has the worst execution. I mean, it, it, it's just. The, lo the mission's exclusive to a freaking mission you have to do. Like, it's not just collecting 100 coins out in a level in the open. Like, that was at least kind of like a challenge a little bit in 64 and Sunshine, where you, you know, had to figure out your way, the best way around to get all the coins. And, you know, certain missions required more, could get you more and all that. But this, it's just, okay, here's the level. We have 100 coins laid out for you. Go find them all. It's like, okay. It became more... It became less of, like, a bonus... It became more of, like, a... It became more of an actual task rather than, like, an extra goodie. I mean, technically, unlocking it, it is, like, an extra goodie, but, you know, it's... Hmm. I just don't enjoy them, personally. Some of the short and sweet ones are some of our time. They're a pleasant challenge, but once they're just out in the open like this, it's like, ugh. It's one of the few bad things I can say about Mario Galaxy. Like I said, I put Super Mario 64 above this, as great as these ones are. Now, time for you to die, Wiggler. Make me happier by dying for me. That always brightens my mood. The thing that really sucks is I don't think I can get the B power up here. I have to go on my own skill. So I have to go reach places I didn't think I could reach before. But I have the help of other platforming areas. So that can boost me along if I need it. Hey, Billboard. Nice to see you again. It's me, the famous Gilboard. Oh, you're Gilboard. Sorry. I mix you guys up all the time. Can you blame me? Please say no. Please say no. Please say yes, I know, we all look alike. That would make me feel better. Plus, it wouldn't make me look racist against a board. Ahem! Anyway. I need to find more coins. Oh, yeah, there's some down here. Well, I was gonna need to come down here anyway, so. Maybe I'll do it now. See, normally you're not able to, Well, you can actually normally access this area. You want to think about it, though. Well, the purple coins lead you on. Yeah. Stupid bug! Yeah. Got my face! Yeah. Okay, well, I know the rest of them are. Yeah. It won't be that bad from here. Yeah! Yes! Well, the plant's right there anyway. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I could be wrong, but I think there might be a secret hidden under this level. If you're willing to do, like, death-defying jumps in some spots, you can, uh, find some extra hidden goodies, I guess, for star bits. So, if you're crazy, I know there's one of those question mark coins hiding down there somewhere. I 
think. Unless I'm thinking the mirror version of this stage. Either way. Yeah. There's a lot to some of these levels, like this one. They have you explore one like this because there's just so much you can reach. Even though they made the level so big, despite you not needing to access, like, some certain areas at all, just to do any of the star, main star missions. They hide stuff around. So not all the sandbox love was lost. Aha! I hate these ones. Hopefully you don't have to take two trips to get those. Alright, well, we're almost done here. There's only five more, and they're all on the slide. Oh, boy. I have to get them all on the slide. Okay. Be careful. Yes! And there we go. See how much time that frickin' took? My god! This mission took so long. Seriously, they could've just let me be, and then things would've been fine. Seriously, we're, we're gonna have to figure out how to get rid of these jokes. Oh, come on! They're getting near that part of the game and more the Luigi Superstar Saga! I don't care! Besides, that's called Jokes End. You're tr oh, you're trying to be ironic, I see. Exactly! Ugh. Shoot me already. Wow! Come on, man, suicide's not cool. I meant... Okay, I can see how you can take it that way. Sorry! Anyway, let's keep going, Mario. Come on. We got a lot more to do. How much more is a lot? A lot. Hmm. So let me see. Any other comments out there? Nope. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main level progress. Which reminds me, speaking of tedious exploring to find things, ha ha ha, I believe that's what the next mission is. We shut off the beginning of it, but, well, now it's time to do the whole thing. This isn't even the worst bit, though. But, it should still be alright. Oh, wow, I still haven't unlocked that level yet. Oh, we still have Toy Time Galaxy. Oh, that's gonna be fun once we can finally do that. Alright. Alright, Mario, you ready? Let's have ourselves some fun. Back to the Silver Stars of the Sea slide. Beautiful. Oh, almost forgot to mute my phone. Don't want that going off. Or at least sound-wise going off. <laughs> Alright. Actually, this isn't that helpful, this shell. So why did I grab it? Because I could be like a dolphin! Eh, <laughs> fuck you! Thank you for ending that. We don't need the dolphin sound. Now let's fly! Eh! No! No! At least you didn't die. Be thankful for that. Alright, well... I remember what I'm doing here. I hate that you can't do a frickin'... I hate that you can't do advanced jumps when you're B, Mario. But then again, I guess that's how they balance it. They don't want you to be flying even higher than you should be allowed to. Oh, well. Could have made for some interesting challenges, but... This... This galaxy was meant to be simple, because a lot of the casual crowd of uh, the Nintendo Wii fanbase... Yeah, has anybody heard me tackle about that yet? How this game feels a lot more linear because it goes more the casual fan base that Nintendo was going for at the time? Thankfully, Nintendo's been a lot more, you know, mixed with all of it. They've been trying to do stuff that's still somewhat casual for anybody to jump into, but they have a lot of hardcore stuff. It's like, for true gamers, there's a lot more to discover. I mean, this game kind of had that, but, you know, it's still all very simple. It's very simple during the Wii times. Look at good, Mario! Yeah, leave me alone. Hmm. You might to see the county just use this star! Thanks? I know how they work. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap, I forgot to get the Silver Star by the cannon. Shit. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can't pick up a Koopa shell when you're, um... 
Yeah, be Mario. You have to be normal Mario in order to be able to pick up a Koopa shell. Aha! I didn't let you wake up! Now you must die for my amusement. Arise! Wow, that's lame. Also realized I forgot a silver star because I ignored the cannon entirely. I forgot about that because of the planet thing last time. Damn it, so I don't get to take the sling star. That basically takes you back to the start point. Which would have actually been pretty useful. So, yeah, I blew it. Sorry. Well, this level's back and forth anyway. Ah! What the hell was that all about? That's how much fun we! Yeah, I'm sure they are! Alright, now let's go get that silver star for real. Don't kill me! Woo, thank God, it saved me. All right, oh! Oh yeah, that's right, gravitational pull from spaceships. How does that work? Well, I'm sure this world they find an excuse. If I haven't said it once, which I'm pretty sure I have, I'll say it again. Be careful with those cannons. Yeah, I've said it at least once. Because if you hit the wrong spot, and don't save yourself, you will fly into oblivion. Basically, have something to stop yourself, either a wall or a pole star. If you don't, well, you're never gonna see the light of day. You'll be dead, flying to space forever. It's a cruel, cruel fate to give this space traveling plumber. I don't know, I kinda wanna see what space is like. Come on, don't you remember what happened to Bender? It was lucky for him he got back because he found a weird god thing. Oh, Futurama, you are great. What do you mean, word? Still great. Eh, newer stuff was okay. Not great. I mean, oh, come on, dude. The last episode of Futurama. Oh, yeah, the last episode is fantastic. Why are we talking about Futurama right now? You're the one that brought it up. Okay, fine, fine. I'll give you that. Sorry. But whatever. Come on. We have one more location to go to. Whoa! That's not how water spouts work! I do plumbing for a living! That's not how water works! Whoa, whoa! What the? Hey, hey! This doesn't. Whoa! You know what? I won't question it anymore. It helped me, so I can't be mad. Hmm. Oh! Ah, more joyous music. Everybody loves humming my favorite tune. Good old underwater times. Back off! My note! Bitch! When I want to end on a high note, I mean end on a high note. And there we go! We found all the silver stars. Another long mission because you gotta go around a lot of the level. It's certainly not the worst, but, well, it's up there for being annoying. Penguru's place. So this is where you live. What the hell? There's all kinds of hip and seaside. What's going on? I don't know. What do I look like, an astrologist? I don't even know what I meant by that. And you got somewhere me. Go on now, get! Okay, fine. Seriously, you sound different every time I talk to you. Ah, there we go. Man, only three stars so far. See, there's a lot of missions that eat up time. Like, oh god, they eat up a lot of time. It's crazy. But that's why we're trying to get, I'm trying to get some of them out of the way, because they can get obnoxious. That's that. So, let's move on to the next one. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! <laughs> oh, remember how I said there was a more annoying mission than that one? Here it is. Well, this episode's gonna be longer than I want it to be, if it isn't already clear. Purple coins by the seaside. Remember how there are those levels where I say you gotta explore the whole level? Well, here you go. 
This level, you're exploring the entirety of it to collect purple coins. Yes. Sling stars. No, nothing. It's just you and a bee. Good luck. Thanks for the confidence boost, you asshole. This level sucks. This level sucks. Basically, I'll make a whole lap around the island, make sure you don't miss a single goddamn purple coin. And some of them are really obnoxious places. Oh, this mission sucks. This may very well be my least favorite purple coin mission in the game. There are some rough ones, but this one is the most tedious one in the goddamn game. This level is freaking huge! You're just traveling in it forever! The good thing is, you don't have to go on that center island or use the cannon at all. Everything's down here. So you don't have to go looking in odd spots for them. Well, for the most part. There's a few that are kind of out of the way, but they're still on the main path. So, nothing straight on the main path. See, there's not even a cannon there. Oh, God, I hate this mission with a passion. There was one mission I wish did not exist in this game. It was this one. Why couldn't it just be, like, going underwater to look for them? Why does it have to be this? Oh, yeah, there's none on the, the water as well. So don't worry. You don't have to lose your bee power up at all throughout the level. If you can keep it, you can go for a pretty solid run of just getting everything. There are some that are close to the water, but nothing in it. So as long as you stay above every, all the water around you, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Just keep track of where the path goes. And any big kind of landmass, look around it. For example, the lighthouse. You're going to want to look around that. And I mean that. Oh, yeah. The worst part is yet to come. Oh, Jesus, that's right. I remember Whatever. For now, let's keep going and just collect more coins. Who puts these coins here? I'm pretty sure it's the comet. How rich is this stuff? Apparently not rich enough because apparently you can never find enough. And all these hundred purple coins get you is one power star. This thing sucks. No shit. Time for a... Leap off the lighthouse pole. Why is there a pole on top of the lighthouse? Hey, you're the one supposed to be asking questions, not me. See, there's some annoying purple coins right there. Some of my least favorite level, because you're risking losing B just to get these ones. Ugh. Okay. Damn it! Well, this is shitty. Yeah, that it is. I don't believe there are a lot of places to get B, Mario. I have to look around again. There's probably one here. They probably have one on every main island, I would hope. Otherwise, this is just obnoxious. Yep, there it is. Okay. Well, I got some of my least favorite ones. We're halfway there! Still got another half to go. Are we having fun yet? Are we? Are we having fun? I think... You wish you were having as much fun as I am. I don't know. Did it be around here in this nice warm weather? In the summer landscape? Oh, 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 I see. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. You get to be around the warmth while I have to be around the cold. And I'm still sweating because my room's so hot. Open a window. You have no idea how much heat I actually let off. Somebody might need to get their... Blood pressure check. I think it's fine, but thanks for your concern. I know my family has some weird blood pressure things. That's like, why am I telling you that? That's not important. People care, MJ. I care for you. So please, take your medication and calm the fuck down. <sighs> I'll calm down as soon as we get out of this freaking level. See, there you go. Is that so hard? You'd be surprised how difficult that was for me. Oh, I hate climbing that cloud. 
Make a climb to that cloud, just climb higher to follow the path there. What the hell kind of weird backwards ass shit is that? I'm scared! Who cares? You'll just come back with me anyway. Why do you guys even come? That Captain Toad is really a freaking asshole. Make him come by and do something he can't even do himself. What a prick. Oh yeah, by the way, don't pound on the cl Actually, I think pound on the clouds is B-Mar is okay. No! This is awful! They do have bees everywhere. Oh, thank God. Without these bee mushrooms, I don't know what I'd do. Now for the one of the more slightly annoying sections to go look for coins. The freaking giant tree! There's a lot of parts of the tree you can be on. So you gotta look around every single branch. And the top. The good thing is we're near the end. This isn't taking as long as I thought it would because I'm not making too many mistakes. Any mistakes I am making are close to land, so it's not like it's killing me. Although I keep cutting it close. This is really a level to master B Mario and just getting around places like this in general. And look at all these star bits around. It's a shame I don't want any of them. I have more star bits than I can know what to do with. So there's no point. Well, I guess I could feed a gourmet to all the freaking... Yeah, I could treat all the Lumas to a freaking gourmet, but I'm not gonna do that. Come on, man, I need these for something. This is the only beverage they got out in space. Wait, that's actually thirst quenching? You wanna try it? Am I able to? Fair point! God damn it. So close. All right, I can see the last 10 coins. Fill up nine. You really could, I'm sorry. The number 10 came into my head for some reason. Ugh. Well, the good news is I'm pretty much done here. Oh, but we're not at the best part yet. You know, hey, I made a whole lap. I got all the purple coins. So I should be able to are you shitting me? You still gotta make a half lap just to get back to the White House where the star lies on top of the freaking pole. So really, no matter what way you take, you're taking one and a half laps at least. This is utter bullshit. I know. This is just ridiculous. Oh. This mission just represents so many of the things I hate about the purple coin missions in Mario Galaxy. Wow, this is a very negative episode. And it's all brought to you by the goddamn purple coins. Find a hundred of them out in space and earn yourself a power star today. They're only available in select galaxies. What? what was that a product placement? It's your game. Should you be offended? It, maybe? There was slander in there. Fair point. Whatever, just hurry up and get to that star. We're near the half hour mark, and that's where I didn't want to hit. Well, blame the mission. I am. Believe me, I am. For once, you're not to blame here. You didn't do anything wrong. Wow. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Don't push your luck. Oh! More hundred purple coins! God damn it! Oh, God. Well, I guess it's better I got that one out of the way. Don't worry, none of them will ever be as bad as that. That was ten minutes, pretty much. So, yeah, that's like the worst of the purple coin missions. Some might be harder, but not nearly that long. But we'll worry about that then. Come back next time, we'll explore on the galaxy and finally go to the Toy Time Galaxy, one of my favorite levels, because... Who doesn't love playing with toys? Ugh, you're such a man-child! Lay off, you freaking murderous plumber! I take that as a compliment! I know!